Should I date just one guy? We're gonna hop right into that in just one second. I'm Mike Goldstein of Easy Dating Coach, here to help the people I love fall in love. Should I date just one guy? All right, the simple answer is I don't know. And let me explain, and I'm gonna give you both sides of the coin. In my humble opinion, the answer is no. I want all of you to have men having a battle royale for your heart, for your affection, for your attention, for everything. And why I want this battle royale, because men are freaking competitive. And when they know that there is a wildly desirable woman, which any woman that is learning my content is freaking head and shoulders above the folks that are not watching my stuff because you guys are getting good at understanding men at this point. He wants to fight for you and he wants to earn it. And once he earns it, he's not going to want to get rid of it. He's going to want to keep it forever once he's earned the creme de la creme of women. So with that being said, I love to see you dating multiple men. The other reason is if you've got one guy and he's treating you well, well, it's like, oh, this is good. Well, what if you had another guy and you could compare and see who's treating you better and which one you like more and which one you have more in common? Well, what happens if we then throw another guy? So now we've got three guys and you can compare all of them. Well, that two to three number, I think, is the magic number because then you can really compare. Now, I've studied um, the human brain quite a bit, and there's been a lot of studies on this. We don't do well with decisions when the numbers get much larger than that. I mean, think about if you've ever been trying to make a decision on, like, what house or what car to buy, and you get to, like, eight houses or 15 houses or cars. You're like, there's just too many options. I can't decide, and you don't buy anything. We do better when there's two or three. So two to three guys, you can make a decision. If you want to never make a decision, that's when you date seven to eight guys and you're just never going to pick one and that's that. Now, if you're a person that's just, and, and there's a lot of women out here that come to me and say, Mike, I can't date more than one guy. That's just not my style. Don't change. Be you. Just date one guy. This video is just my lens, my opinion, and my way to get you efficiently to the right guy. Um, but th it's not the right way for everyone. But if you are open to dating multiple men, I do find it to be more efficient. Ultimately, um, what I'm seeing is our divorce rate is above 50% here in the US. And it's because we suck at picking. And we suck at picking because we're impatient and we let emotions get involved. So I want you to slow down and conduct your own science experiment of dating multiple men and dating a lot of men until you find one that really freaking fits. If he mostly fits, don't think like, oh, I'm just getting older or, oh, it's my time or, oh, I don't feel like waiting. No, stay single. Do the work on yourself. Get out there more. Meet more men. The right guy is coming. I cannot tell you how many clients I have that have gotten divorced one, two, three times and now all of a sudden finally found their amazing man in their 60s. And now they're happy as can be. You don't have to do that. You can be whatever age you are watching this, you know, anywhere from 20 to 80. Just be patient. You don't need to go through these 10-year relationships or five-year relationships to end them and then finally hit the reset button. You can do it right now. So I'm just saying be patient, date multiple men, treat it like a science experiment until you get the guy that's really, really right for you. Um, if you'd like help and this resonates with you and you'd like someone who's going to really guide you, um, go down there and schedule a strategy session with me. I'd love to uh, coach you up and make sure we get it right. Just so you know of my last 13 marriages. I think am I at 13 now? 13, 14, one of those. Anyway, none of them have gotten divorced. They're all wildly happy. And so we don't do crappy relationships here. We only do good ones. So holla at me. We'll, we'll take care of you. Ah, for the rest of you, 
I love all of you, and we'll see you next video. If you want to watch more, there's videos there and there. See you next time. Bye.